Hey guys, this is Mike with 5 Minute Guide. This video is going to take a quick look at the new widget feature in iOS 8. Uh, so you'll notice I don't have any widgets on my home screens. That's because that's not where widgets go in iOS 8. It's not quite the same as Android. Now your widgets go in your notification center. Uh, you'll see that I already have set up here my Asana widget, which is an app that uh, myself and some other members of 5 Minute Guide and our web development company use to uh, keep track of who's supposed to be doing what. Um, so I can quickly pull that down and see what I should be doing. Um, so in order to add a new widget, you'll pull down from the top and get to your Today view. Uh, not your notifications, but your Today view. Scroll to the bottom of that and you'll have a new Edit button. So tap on Edit and you can rearrange what's already there or you can add anything that's widgetizable. So any of your apps that have a widget option can be added from here. Uh, so let's just tap on that plus button by stocks. And now the stocks come up, they beat by default, go to the bottom. You can press and hold on the three bars on the right and move them around to wherever you want them. Um, now they have to go somewhere between the today summary and the tomorrow summary. If you don't want those summaries, just tap on the minus button and remove it. Um, and then you're good to go. Just tap done and it should load up for you. So let's go up here and take a look. I now have stocks and it's just the default ones. Um, for now, I can get in and change those, but I don't own any stocks because I'm broke right now. So, uh, you know, we'll just stick with the defaults. Now to remove these, just go right back down, tap on edit, tap on the red button next to stocks, hit remove, tap done, and we're done. No more stocks. Alrighty, I hope that has been helpful. If you've got any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. And, uh, you know, while you're here, if you find our videos useful, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.